And many people love their morning cup of coffee as it wakes them up and gets them going. But coffee may be doing more than just perking you up. It could protect your liver if you drink alcohol. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now to answer some viewer questions about this new study. Dr. Nandy. Yeah, we put it on Facebook uh, and a lot of people had good, good comments, including Rosemary Isabel Taylor from Brighton. And she says, I drink two to four cups a day black. Am I safe from the two to six glasses of wine per week? Is there a ratio based on ounces, she said. So, well, Rosemary, the amount of coffee and alcohol you drink fall within the general guidelines for most adults. And that's assuming you're not drinking more than five ounces of wine a day, which is a recommendation for women. And men can have two drinks a day. Now, researchers here analyzed several studies and found drinking two cups of coffee a day could cut the odds of cirrhosis by, guess what, 44%. And four cups of coffee a day was linked to a 65% lowered risk. So, pretty big stuff. That is fascinating, doctor. Cool stuff. So Absolutely. All right, here's another viewer submission. This is Ron Griffin from West Bloomfield Township, and he says he has one cup every now and again. But once you add all that stuff in it, it adds all the calories to it. Glenda, you know, Ron has an excellent point. If you're going to add in a bunch of unhealthy ingredients like sugar, creamer, butter, and then you may end up just wiping out all the potential health benefits you may have gained. And you could open up another door to heart disease and cardiovascular issues. Now, the researchers didn't look into why coffee might help with cirrhosis, but it does have antioxidant effects and anti-inflammatory properties. And when the caffeine is digested, a chemical is created that can slow down the growth of scar tissue, which may help fight liver cancer. And you're not going to undo years of hard drinking, but there's some evidence that you have cirrhosis. Coffee could slow down the progression. So more good news for coffee. Yeah. All right. Two so, thumbs up. Yeah. Enjoy that cup of morning, Joe. All right. But yeah, don't drink yourself uh, to oblivion because you drink coffee, though. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Nandy. It is the weekend after all. We thank you for that reminder. If you have a question or a health concern for the good doctor, email him at drnandy at wxyz.com. Send it to us, Facebook, Twitter, and we'll get it right to him.